We're going fishing. Good morning, guys. It's uh, six o'clock, bright and early in the morning, and me and the boy, we're going fishing. We're off to a place called um, Willow's Angling Centre, or Bax Farm, as fa uh, some of you may know it. I've not been there, well, I might have been there years ago, match fishing, uh, I'm not too sure, but we're just sitting on our drive at the moment. We're gonna get on the way. We're gonna get some breakfast at McDonald's first of all. And yeah, we're gonna hit the bank, show you where we're fishing. We'll go from there. Everyone got fishing. Just a pleasure day today. Everyone. So you're joining us down here at Willow's Angling Centre, also known as Bax Farm to some people. Uh, yeah, we've come down on the Stream Lake. Stream? Stream Lake. I'm not sure what one it is. I believe it's got an inlet and an outlet, with, so it has like, a very slight flow. So I believe. Uh, first time I fished this, but it's very narrow. It's, I mean, I can literally throw maggots to the other side quite comfortably. Um, so yeah, we're only here for the day. We've just set up a little method feeder for myself and um, set up a little float rod for Tyler. Not that he's watching it much at the moment, but I've set him up in a location next to me. I can see his float just over there. And obviously I've got my quiver right there. So it's all good. So far, I've not had a great look around, but there is a specimen lake here, which I'm very interested in having a look at. I wouldn't mind spending a couple of nights down on the specie. It looks very, very nice. Uh, they've got another lake down here, which is a little bit easier than this one. Uh, more of a kid's lake, but we gave Tyler the choice this morning of easier, smaller fish or the chance of a bigger fish, but less chance of catching. He opted for the bigger fish, so let's hope he doesn't mind too much. But again, I'm doing this video because this would be an ideal venue to bring children along uh, to teach them. And bringing me up on that subject, I'd like to talk to you about a charity that I'm going to be working with from now on called Fishing Well. Mental health charity. They... Wait for the train to go past. They are basically helping, helping disadvantaged and people with mental health issues so whether it be kids adults anyone that needs a basic sanctuary a place to get away from everyday life fishing has been now prescribed on the nhs as a therapy and the therapy it is uh, it's it saved my life a couple of times i've actually made a video about how it's helped my mental health I'll put it up in, I think it's this corner. I'll put it up here for you. Um, take a look at that. It was quite a hard video to make, but all the same, it needed to be done because it does affect mental health. And especially us men, we don't talk about it enough. 
So I'm always here, always message me if you're feeling down. We can get you in touch with the, um, with the charity. And maybe I'll see you on the bank at some point. It is Kent based, but I look forward to seeing you on the bank if you need our help. I'll put up the details, give us a shout. There'll be a link down below to the uh, Facebook page. So yeah, drop us, drop us a line, drop us a message, do whatever you need to do. If you're in despair or you need time away from everyday life, give us a shout. We'll see if we can help you. All right. <clears throat> Back on with um, back on with today. So yeah, I've got a method feeder out. Uh, just made up a little bit of ground bait, uh, and I've just chucked it underneath a little willow tree out in front of me. Uh, there are barbel and stuff like that in here, so they've tried to make this a bit more like a river to make it feel like a river with river species in as well, and the fish get pretty big in here as well. I'm not quite sure on the top size fish but I believe they get into their 20s in here so yeah we can still be on some on some, for some good sport on a on a, on a little quiver tip <laughs> it could be fun anyway for now guys I'm gonna have a cup of tea I'm gonna leave you to it and I'll be back shortly <laughs> So we've just set Tyler up on a on a small pole. It's only uh, about five meters of that. Just uh, just goes out and um, gets him out a little bit. Fine tuned fishing. He's already caught one little roach. So hopefully he'll get some of the smaller stuff now. Maybe some of the bigger stuff will come in later on today. I've still got my quiver tip out over there. Not really paying much attention to it at the moment. Fair play. No, I've had one bite on it already, um, but yeah, as I say, I wasn't paying attention to it, so yeah, I lost that one. But <laughs> we're going to catch you some fishes on the pole for the moment, aren't we? We're going to try, yeah. <laughs> So what we're trying to achieve here is literally, as you can see, his float out there. We're just throwing half a dozen maggots in every every few two minutes. A little bit of ground bait every now and again. Not not much at all. Just a tiny little handball uh, every one an hour maybe. Just just trickle in the feed. So yeah, we've got to keep a close eye on that float. So if that dips down, and obviously he's got to react quickly to get that. Get that back up and hook into the fish. Yeah, you don't want to do it too quick because you'll fling it in the air. <laughs> yeah, not sat that in yet, so well earned a cup of tea as well. Oh no. That's it. Might have to put another shot on that. A little bit out of the water. Now, <laughs> have you got it? Yeah, he's got it. Yay! Right, bring the bring the pole down slightly. See the section in the pole, look by your hand, take, take it apart. Don't drop the pole. Don't do this one, you do that one. That twist, you twist that way. That's it. Quick. Oh, there it is. Well, you just wrap it around and 
pull it out. So we're going to just put that around the line like that. Yeah. I'll put it in his mouth. And the hook um, comes out. Uh, Alright, be gentle with him. Put okay. him back nicely. You will be in Right, number three. That's it, move it, sort of float moves a bit. Because the wind, the wind will move it back this way, that's why I'm doing it. Oh, that's a better one. All right, that's a carp. You know what? We're going to pull that in slightly. All right, Tyler, don't get All right, yeah, come play with fish. Come on, there. Come on, this side. Come stand here. That's a brain by the looks of it, actually. Oh, you better take it. Yeah, lift it up slightly. Oh, you need better Not too much. Oh, it's a big old plate. We got a brain, Tyler. We got a slimy old brain. Bring the camera. <clears throat> so it's not ideal, guys, but... for your first one though, it's a nice one. I'm not going to weigh him, but he's at least... Like, yeah, I'm going to weigh him. It's about three and a half pounds, maybe. Him. I'll... You want to weigh him, yeah? Okay, yeah. give me a minute. I'm going to lift him up, and he goes four pounds seven. seven. Four pounds seven ounces. And that's his first ever brain. Do you want a photo done with him, Tyler? Oh, hell yeah. Yeah, daddy do it in a minute for you. Right, daddy, there. Whoa, hang on. All right, quick. Ah, oh, you can't, you can't. Didn't get it on film, but my rod tip started going around. And look what we've caught. Exactly the same broom Tyler had earlier. All the spines on the top there. I know everyone gives them a bit of a slating, but a fish is a fish at the end of the day. Rather it be a carp or especially a, a barbel as they're in here. Right, let's get him back. <sighs> Let him recover a little bit. It's the second time he's been out of the water. He's looking a little bit worse for wear now. <laughs> Come on, right yourself up. There he goes. So yeah, coming back talking about um, this charity. All right, Mark, who is the man in charge, 
I contacted him the other day and asked him whether he'd be interested in me covering some videos on YouTube and that and because I have quite a lot of spare time on my hands at the moment I also offered to volunteer so yeah we're going to be coming down here teaching all the kids and everybody else the basics of fishing getting them out learning uh, starting them off on like a whip basically what I'm teaching Tyler at the moment and then sort of upgrading you know the serious kids who, who want to take it on and, and take it on board and learn a little bit more then they're going to move on to things like rod and reel and then eventually hopefully moving on to say uh, bigger events like night fishing and trying to catch into a, a bigger fish be it cats or carp <coughs> Also going to be looking for venues, so any venues that want to help donate in the local area of Kent, um, we're always going to be looking for new venues to, to help us in this venture. Not only that, what I will ask is if anybody is willing to help donate, whether it be a small amount of money or any tackle that's not used by yourself anymore, you're thinking of getting rid of, and you don't mind donating at the moment every little helps um, and we can make this charity grow as much as we can we can only do it with your help so please be it in your hearts this is a fishing charity we are a fishing channel let's help the younger generation get into fishing and of course those with mental health issues so yeah it'll be great just give us a message or i'll put up the details as i say there'll be a link down below as i said earlier to give either one of us uh, a message and we'll let you know how to how to contact us from there and get bits and pieces to us thank you very much oh, i was just tired of said he wanted to have a rest for a minute so i just brought him in as i was coming back towards my rods it was bouncing across <laughs> and I just caught it before it almost went in the lake. But here we go. Uh, what have we got here? Oh, Mr. Cameraman, you're doing your job. Oh, he's a fighter. Can't like him there. There we go. Right, let's go put one on that. Oh, this is a gorgeous little one. better for that a little tiny um, quiver tip we've got on we've really slimmed down our gear today we've got size 12 hook on and uh yeah press the press, press the picture button mate you done it yeah. <laughs> he's getting pictures for me so yeah i'm well pleased does tyler want a little hold okay. you want a photo taken oh. there he is with his fish even though I caught it, he likes to hold them and have a little photo taken with them and why not? Look at that. Can't ask about. Alright, let's get him back in the water. Land down. Land down nicely, nice and slowly. That's it. You want to make sure when you do it, you want to make sure that his fin at the bottom is laying backwards. Okay? You, you just run your hand down the back there and make sure. That's it. Right, okay. What you read? Well, it was only a short one today. We, I mean, it's not even three o'clock. It's just about three o'clock and we're, we've already packed up and we jumped in the car. Extremely windy down here today. I went into a 
get Tyler to do a little bit of pole work, but far too windy for him to do much of that. After about an hour, two hours, he was knackered. Couldn't do it no more of the pole up. So, yeah, we're going to leave it as a short one today. We've had, we've had a couple of fish out. We had the same bream out, <laughs> funnily enough. Um, roach had a, uh, roach. Tyler had a couple of roach out and then had quite a nice roach out. Uh, a little bit of damage on him, but all the same, still a nice roach. <laughs> and then we had the carp out. So all in all, it wasn't a blank. It wasn't a bad, bad day, but it wasn't a brilliant day. Mm. I would absolutely love to come down here again soon. I want to do the Specy Lake. Um, the next time I come down here, I'll do a much more detailed video of the of the venue. Um, I'm showing the tackle shop and stuff like that, as it's a massive tackle shop they've got here. Very friendly staff. Uh, I troubled my car earlier, and they offered to come and jump it if needed. Um, but little man left the ignition on, and I think he just drained the battery a little bit. But anyway, that's it for another visit. Um, we'll see you again soon. As I say, I am going to book up on the Specy Lake here shortly to look out for that one. Um, but until then, guys, take care. See you again soon. Bye. Tight lines.